Hello YouTube, I know I had already posted this video, but I had to delete it to make a new one, so anyway, this is our new box turtle enclosure. As you saw in my earlier videos, we just used a swimming pool, which was not really good. It wasn't really suitable for them, so we made this. Me and my dad built this together. And these are box turtles that we rescue off the road. Now right now we have a total of 40. There are so many. And this here is for shade. A little home that closes. And there are a few in here right now already. And this one right here we took inside and cleaned up his shell with a toothbrush. Sometimes we do that to certain ones. And here is their pool that my dad just changed the water today. We have to clean it every day. And right now there's a bunch of grass in there for them to eat. But usually a good diet for box turtles is either fruits and vegetables and worms. We usually give them cantaloupe and kale and we do buy worms for them and they love that. Now, why did I rescue these turtles? Well, they seem to cross the road a lot. Why? To find a mate or to lay eggs. Now the problem is, people are running them over, which is not good because this species is becoming threatened. And I do not want them to go extinct because they are beautiful. And we do have a lot of females, which means eggs. So we just found an egg today actually, so now we have 27 eggs. Now some of these guys do have names and I'll show you them. This is Indominus, inspired by the new movie Jurassic World. He's got a beautiful shell. We just cleaned him up today. He's really pretty. And how to tell from boy and girl turtles is the belly. The boys have a caved in shell at the bottom and they have red eyes. And this is for mating purposes. And to tell a girl, the belly is completely flat. And their eyes are usually brown. And they usually have a much more round shell compared to a boy. They have a more oval-like shell. Now this, I think this is our biggest boy yet who we call fat legs because he has huge legs. Look how big he is to my finger. Ever since we've rescued these, they've become more and more tame with us. So when we first picked them up, they would go in their shell immediately, but now they just let us pet their heads. See, I need to clean his shell because he is our biggest boy. And I will show you some that do have names. This here is Crush. She is a female because her belly, of course. And the reason we named her Crush is because of her shell. We think it got hit by a car. And it healed, so that's great. And I can't wait to see it when it's fully healed. It's a shame that she got hit. But at least I got her before anything else happened because we found her right at the side of the road where somebody would soon hit her. But nope, we got her. There's one in here that I really like but I can't find him right now because he's probably burrowed. And his name is Stumpy. And I will try to find him and show you why his name is Stumpy. Let's see. This is not Stumpy. This right here is Chewy. Why? Because her shell was chewed by something. We think a raccoon might have done it, but thanks to her shell that hinges closed completely, she was safe. I do believe that this might be Stumpy. Nope, this is Hulk. He is our second biggest boy. We call him Hulk because he looks like he has muscles on his head and he's trying to bite me. Yeah, he's a big boy. 
I'm not sure where Stumpy is right now. Are you Stumpy? Now the unique thing about these turtles is they can close their shells all the way. This one doesn't have it all the way closed, but looks like he was sleeping. I'll put you back. I'm not sure where Stumpy is right now, but I know something probably bit his leg off, which is not good. But he's actually really good. It healed really well. Over there in that corner, you can see a turtle who looks completely different. His name is Sully. He is a sulcata tortoise, also known as an African spurthi tortoise. And there's another one that we cleaned right there, Shell. I don't remember that one's name right now because I can't see him. But yeah, there are a lot of little ones too, like this one is one of our young baby turtles. At this age, you can't really tell what their gender is, but as soon as they grow a little more, maybe that size, you could probably tell. This one is one of my favorites because she loves to have her head rubbed. Now, I bet you're wondering, what am I going to do with 40 turtles? And what happens if I get more? Well, my goal is to try and start letting these things go when I get a, bent a bunch. Because of the numbers, they're going down a lot. Because of drivers hitting them. And I'd really hate to see crushed turtles on the road because I've seen a lot that we probably could have gotten. But I want to try and prevent that from happening to these guys because they're really cool. I mean, look at him. Would you want that to go extinct? this early. I mean, they've lived so long. You can you can kind of tell how old they are by the rings on their shell, but it's, it's not exact science, but it somewhat determines their age. We have some that are 70, 60 years old, and it's a shame to see them die just from crossing the road to find a mate or lay eggs. I plan to take these guys really far away one day and let them loose into a place like a preserve where they can never be hit by a car. Not all of them, some of them do have to stay with us because we need to breed them because we do have 27 eggs inside which are soon to hatch and some are, real, some are really young and some are really really old so I think some will hatch and I will be posting a video of them hatching. And we do have some others inside who are sick because of eye infections. They'll get eye infections if you don't give them proper care. And the reason we have two with eye infections is because one of my friends gave it to me and one probably was pregnant and if they stay if they don't lay their eggs, they can actually get really sick. Because if the egg bursts inside of them, the yolk can kill them. So we think maybe something like that happened to her, but she's actually getting better. And we might, maybe a week from now, she can come back in here. I will show them in another video. And I will show you our new hatched little guy who my friend gave to me. We call him Squirtle. Here's one of my little brother's favorites. He's actually, surprisingly, a really fast turtle. He's a boy, I think. But yeah. This we call Fasty because from the movie Turbo, we kind of inspired him by that. And Turbo kind of sounded a bit, you know, too fast for a turtle. I like to call him Speedy though. That's just my brother though. He's weird. Now we do know who laid some of our eggs because we caught them in the act, which was really cool, which I might try to post the video. Now these guys can flip from their from the back of their shell really easily if you watch. Now I don't mean this to be mean but if you flip them on their back they can easily just turn over. 
because of their huge heads. And this guy could easily flip over. Watch. See? Now I can imagine they're really hot, so I'm gonna go in and use this glass to shade them. This is glass that the sun does not go through, it leaves them shade. It's really hot right now, I can get my dad to get it, but that gives them shade, as you can see. So, I hope you like my turtles. Please watch out for these guys on the road. You can either pick them up and take them far, far away, or at least help them to the other side of the road. Please watch out for these guys. Bye.